Welcome everyone, today I want to show you something called static site generators. So um, instead of looking for a reliable web hosting service and building my page using WordPress, I simply use a static site generator like Jekyll. So to install Jekyll you will need um, Ruby and Xcode for Mac. Um, to install X Xcode you can open up terminal and then you simply say Xcode, Xcode then dash select and two dashes and install so as you can see command line tools are already installed that's why it's not working um, on my end but um, if you have the same error it's all good and if you don't have it it will install it with this command perfect all right so now the next thing is we need to install um, we need to update ruby right because um, Jekyll needs Ruby 2.4 and um, if you are not sure what version you own you can simply type in Ruby dash V and it will show you um, on my end it's Ruby 2.6 which is um, perfectly fine for Jekyll if you don't have the newest version of Ruby you can simply install it through this command here so copy this paste it this will install homebrew and after that um, let me install that again after that you will be able to simply say brew install ruby and this will update um, ruby to the newest version so currently the, um, the homebrew is installing all right that's it and now we can say brew install ruby and it will install ruby that's it so um, now you can I will check again ruby-v and as you can see I'm still on 2.6 but in case you have been on I don't know 2.2 then you should have the newest version now all right awesome let's close this and open up again and now let's move on and let's install Jekyll so now you have everything ready the next thing you need to do is to say game install bundler Jekyll and this command will install Jekyll on your system um, as you can see you it might be that you have the same error as I do uh, you don't have writing permissions so just say sudo and now you say the same thing again sudo gem install bundler Jekyll password and it will install the newest version of Jekyll um, on your computer all right that's it now that we um, have Jekyll on our system the next thing is to create a new page so to make sure this new page will be on your desktop simply type in CD on desktop and CD stands for change directory so that means that we are working um, in your desktop now and every file that we will create will be available to you um, on your desktop Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is to say Jekyll new and then um, you need a name for our new Jekyll site. So let's just call this um, awesome page. Right after that we say two dashes and we say blank. This will install Jekyll without a template. So you will have a fresh page and um, without any, any theme at all. Right. Let's install this. So as you can see, it created this folder right here. So the next thing we need to do is to change the directory from desktop to our awesome page. So let's say CD, and then you can simply click and drag um, folder into terminal. Like this. And now let's say Jekyll surf dashes and live reload and this will create a, um, a server up and running a local host which you can visit and your page will be available to you so let's open up localhost for and as you can see this is our Jekyll page we are ready to go and we can start developing our page everything you do here you will be able to um, upload to your page and um, it will be live and you can host the page for free on the github server which is pretty reliable 
So that's pretty awesome. Um, Jekyll uses an environment on its own. So instead of me talking about Jekyll, let me show you how Jekyll looks like. All right, so now we are here in Jekyll. Uh, this is how the Jekyll folder looks like when you open it up in a code editor. So you have the config file, you have the index markdown file and um, some other stuff like posts, cache, sites and you know, we will go through this but let's first start by um, checking out the layouts. So let's open up layouts and as you can see there is a file called default HTML and this is basically a template. Right, so um, this is the default template that our Jekyll site is using. And as you can see, when we open up index markdown file, we specify that right here, layout default. So this means that the content that is written right here will show up right here where we have declared our content with a language called Liquid. So Jekyll is using a Shopify language called Liquid which looks like this. This means that this content thing here means that take the content right here and add it to here. This page title in this brackets means take this title right here and put it right here. So we can use simple templates for our content. Let's say right here, let's create a H2 and let's say here is our content right and as you can see let's apply a inline style to this I know usually you shouldn't do that but let's do that just right here so as you can see here is where our content comes into play perfect and now no matter how many index uh, markdown or, or how many markdown files we create, we can always use this layout and it will pull the content every time from here. So let me show you. Let's create another page. Not in here. In the root directory. Let's open it up and let's say about us. Right? And let's use markdown for this. So we have a about us page. Let's copy this thing right here. And now we are in our About Us page. So layout, we will still use the, the default layout for our About Us page. The title will be something different. So let's say About Us. And now we also can say how the URL should look like. So we can say permalink and let's say about okay perfect so now no matter what we write in here it will also show up here so let me show you let's say let's create a h1 and say this is our about page right so now when we open up about as you can see this is our about page. So no matter what I type in here, it will show up. So um, we can create different kind of pages with different templates for um, all our content. For instance, if you have a template for your service pages, or for your product pages, or maybe for your posts, then you can create this and Jekyll will use this template every time you create a new page. So you don't have to create a complete new um, HTML page because Jekyll will always use this default page as your template. And that's pretty nice. All right, that's all. So thanks a lot for listening. And um, like I said, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Otherwise, see you.